Hi, my name is Kirby, and uh, here is my video where I am designing Kajinkas of the Meta Knights. Um, Meta Knight spelled um, Meta Dash Knight as opposed to Meta Space Knight, um, who is already there um, for size comparison pretty much, and I am not um, drawing him in this video. Um, so this has kind of been a long time coming. I pretty much have plans to design every single um, significant Kirby character as a Kajinka, so this is no exception. I have to design the Meta Knights, and here I am doing that. These are the sketches, and then I will move on to the line art and then the coloring. I am doing all the sketches at once and then doing line art coloring, line art coloring, line art coloring, etc. Um, all in all, there are... hang on, I have to, I have to check. Um, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Kajinkas in this drawing. No wonder it took so long. This took a few days, and it was pretty stressful because I wanted to um, get it done as soon as possible so I can make this video, because I've been trying to um, make more videos lately um, to hopefully... This is going to sound really vain, but like get more views on the internet because I do eventually want to make art my job. So, you know, that's an important thing. I also have realized that when I personally watch videos, I much prefer to listen to someone talk rather than um, just listen to the music that the person chose to put in the video, mainly because my taste in music is definitely not your taste in music. It is not most people's taste in music. You probably don't want to hear the songs that I listen to, and when other people put music in their videos, I do not want to listen to those musics, unless it's Kirby music. And I can't put copyrighted music in the video anyway, in case I do get popular enough to monetize it. I don't know if you know this, but YouTube requires that you have a certain amount of views and subscribers to monetize your videos, which I guess I understand, but... Oh well, yeah, I make no money from this, which is okay. I mean, I do it for fun. I do it for fun, because I like art. But, you know. I do also need to live, <laughs> so so that's kind of important. Um, so I'm just kind of drawing, and you know, anatomy is definitely not the easiest thing. It's not my favorite thing. I've never really been good at it, but you know, I don't think anybody starts off being good at drawing correct human proportions. I certainly am not. But, you know, I'm working on it. I'm getting better. I've gone through a lot of different phases when it comes to, like, my art style and anatomy. And most of it involves the legs. Because I I always kept being, legs are long. They need to be long. And it was always weird when I made them too short. But I lost track of what was too long. So I started making legs, like, twice the length of the torso. <laughs> and that's not accurate either. So... You know, I'm getting better at it, especially since I've realized that flaw, but, you know, this video, um, not sped up, it's, like, hours and hours long, it's probably, like, eight hours or so, <laughs> I don't, I didn't keep track exactly, anyway, this is, um, I totally did not talk about Captain Vol at all, but that was who that person was at the beginning. So this is Sailor Waddle D or just Sailor D. I do want to think of like a real name for them eventually. Like Bandana D has a real name. That's not like just a title, but yeah. Um so this is Sword Knight. Yeah, that's Sword Knight. And um his design was not that difficult to come up with. There were some here that I had a bit of trouble with. Uh, in those spaces where you could see the screen goes a bit dark, um, that's me using precision mode with my drawing tablet. So basically, I can set it so that while I'm holding down that button, um, the drawing tablet will only work in that small area, which basically means I can be more precise. It's a little hard to explain, but it's really useful, but at the same time, really hard to get used to. Um, so here's Blade Knight. Um, I've seen someone make Blade Knight female as a Gajinka, which I kind of, I, I enjoy the idea of, 
mainly because of the the ponytail but i was like you know what that's playing into stereotypes and i don't want to do that most of these kajinkas ended up being male because i didn't feel the need to um do anything besides that um honestly i don't think any of them are officially gendered besides maybe meta knight but i did not um I just, I just made them all male, except for Sailor D, who is non-binary. Uh, so here's Axe Knight, and I'm really, really proud of Axe Knight. Um, it was a difficult design to come up with. Like, it took me a few tries, as you might have seen with the sketch, but I'm really happy with what I did come up with. It's a lot more detailed than the others, because I kind of felt like it had to be, because Axe Knight's original design is like a helmet with horns and stuff and I was like barbarian so that's what I went with and I'm not sure it's actually a good design I also kind of wonder if like maybe it's racist because I made um, him dark-skinned but I also make some plenty of other Gajinkas dark-skinned and they're not quote-unquote barbarians it's really just a design choice and um, I don't know. There, it, it's kind of hard to be perfectly, um, like politically correct, <laughs> for lack of a better word, because I hate that term because human rights shouldn't be political. Anyway, I suppose if anyone takes offense to that, I could change it. But that the inspiration for the skin color really just came from the original character Axe Knight, who does have like a black body um which is just you know a color when it comes to puffballs he does he count as a puffball i i guess anyway i've practically entirely talked over javelin knight who is a robot um which was fun for me to design because a i love robots b i'm terrible at designing them so you know i just kind of went with it and i'm really happy with what i came up with so i guess i'm getting better at designing robots that's kind of fun it definitely helped that i could just go okay humanoid and i did that um and you know it's a gajinka and not the original oh yeah i said i made them all male i i forgot about javelin knight <laughs> javelin knight is also non-binary because they're a robot and robots don't need genders um I think some people might actually take offense to that, because that implies that non-binary people are all robots, or like they can't be human, which absolutely isn't true. But I'm also non-binary and other kin, so, well, I'm fiction kin, which maybe I don't want to talk about in this. <laughs> Everyone right now is like, shut up about this, Sh shut up, talk about Kirby, and I'm like, okay, okay, I'll talk about Kirby. So here is um, Trident Knight, who kind of has a samurai slash ninja look in the original design and i was like okay but also he has a jet pack so what's up with that <laughs> so so i rolled with it and i did not base it on one particular thing and just kind of messed around and did a design that felt right um <laughs> so here is that and I'm happy with this one too. There's there's no design that I made here that I don't like or else I would have redesigned it. I would have been like, no, this isn't going in the video if I had made a Gajinka design that I didn't like. I'm not really sure which one's my favorite. Probably Axe Knight because that one was just very different from the others and more creative, I guess. So we are coming to the end of the video. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed part of the making of this drawing it was not completely enjoyable but it was i'm very happy with it now i'm very proud of it so thanks for watching and thanks to flix and falcon villager for supporting me on patreon i really appreciate your support you very much motivate me to continue making content so stay tuned for more videos like this and i'll see you around bye